Well, we know that the family was confident that this would be the case. It has now been confirmed that the remains found over the weekend in a sealed tank at Lenawee County are in fact the remains of Dee Warner, who's been missing for three and a half years. Currently, the manner of death has been withheld due to the pending investigation. Although Billy Little, the, one of the lawyers investigating Dee's case, has stated that he believes that the manner of death will come up as strangulation due to lack of evidence at the crime scene, just for starters. I would imagine that as keen as we all are to actually see the autopsy, that we'll probably find that the autopsy will in fact be withheld. It won't be made publicly available until after this case goes to trial because it is part of an ongoing investigation. We can at least be grateful that this gives the family some measure of closure and also provides the community who have stood behind the family with the beginning of answers. Obviously, there's still a lot to be told, but at this point in time, it is now known that Dee did not abandon her nine-year-old daughter and head off to go live on an island with some toy boy, which is a story that Dale Warner was putting out. And in fact, it was even the story that Dale Warner's lawyer was trying to push in court. And of course, to use a somewhat apt term, this now seals the fate of Dale Warner. I think what we'll find is that the pre-trial hearing that was scheduled for early September will now be postponed because his defence lawyer is now going to have to scramble around and come up with a new defence. Either that or he's going to have to plead guilty and face the music. But from what we've seen of Dale Warner, I doubt very much that he is going to plead guilty. So I think that what we will find is that there will be a delay in the hearing, the preliminary hearing, and that the Defence Council will come up with a new strategy to defend Dale Warner. And perhaps they'll take such, take an example out of the playbook of some of the lawyers we've seen recently who have been making up false people accusing people, random people, of crimes just to create doubt. But at the same time, I think they're going to be really battling to build any kind of defence for Dale Warner. There may have been a possibility when it first occurred for him to have come clean and said what he did. But he chose the wrong route. He hid his wife's body and he lied about it for three and a half years. So the defence is going to be really struggling now. And I think it's going to be a very, very interesting trial to watch.